Annie and I shot over to Tolton Raceway a few weeks back to cover the third round of Tuna Wars. A record number of entries braved the cold to lay down some rubber and post some awesome times on a prepared track. Both of us hooked up with a few well-known drag racers who gave us some insight into how their cars were running, such as Butler Motorsport who revealed their new pro mod to the masses, and Cowboys newly built Toyota station wagon. Where did you find a two-door wagon? Out there where we stay where you need passports to go on the Secunda, on the Nigel? No, from the Bell Park, on the plots. What is this way? I haven't weighed it yet, but I'm thinking 1-250. I'm hoping 1-250 with me in the car. So it's not that light. Have you taken the kids and the wife for a ride in I it? Have. have you gone shopping? I have, I have. Went to fetch milk and bread, <laughs> cigarettes, whatever. Gone. Drive it, I drive it to the shops as much as I can. So tell us about the engine. Uh, is it a, it's a 2J engine? It's a 2J stock bottom end. Um, the head's done. Crower, uh, springs, retainers, cams, and the head's ported. Uh, that's about a 1,600 cc injectors, 80 millimeter turbo. What's your boosting? 1.6 bar. 1.6 bar. No, okay. But no, to me. What are you boosting? 1.6 bar. Ask Mo when he comes. What are you boosting? 1.6 bar. Only 1.6 bar. Skulk made the intake manifold. Um, full boost. Made the branch. And then Nikki from MRP helped me with a few aluminium work. That's about it. Cool. What are you expecting and today? I said, if we come here first, first out, if we can run a nine, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's a nine, eight, nine, nine. If we can get into the nines nice. from the first meeting, then I'm happy. Cool, man. All right, well, good luck. Talk to you Thank later. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tuned by Turbo Nos and sounding super sweet, Cowboy's first run was a 10 dead but he encountered a problem during his warm-up on the second run. What happened? Uh, uh, honestly, I don't know, but it shot the uh, oil filters rubber. It shot it out. Uh, Leaked the wheel uh, the, out the filter, but it's sharp now. Yeah, new filter, back. yeah, new filter, just want to get it hot, warmed up, try again. After repairing the oil filter, he lined up a Porsche twin turbo and ran a 10.4. He battled all day with the transmission, but when that sorted out, I'm sure the car will be running way quicker in the future. It's Annie and Richard Yodan. Say hello. Now you're going to Can you pose for the camera, please? <laughs> Let me just put my beer away. <laughs> no, really, he wants to be an outstanding citizen now. <laughs> <laughs> so when are we seeing you again, Richard? What's happening? Uh, most probably the end of the year. Okay. I'll be back. You got plans? I've got plans. I've got something in, a, in, in my bag. Is it a golf? A bag of plans. Is it a golf? Is it a golf? Rear wheel drive? Uh, it's not a golf rear wheel drive. No, man, it's my bucky. <laughs> With the golf motor? With the, no, I'm putting in a Sharat three cylinder. <laughs> that thing's gonna fuck off. Uh, what are you hoping to do today? What are you seven hoping to do? No, but with this weather, we won't do seven five balls. Not a chance. We can do another, another few seven seconds at Kazapi. Then we know we're going to get better. The um, new engine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's cement. Is it stronger than another one? Yeah. No, well, it's the first time we're driving with cement. Yeah? First time we're driving with cement. Half in start. Okay, cool. So all in nice scooters now, then, eh? No, all tech is perfect. We, it's a small motor, boss. How much horsepower do you think you're doing? Eh? To do a 7.6 like I've did, it's yeah. about 8, 8.50, 900 horses. What, 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 what boost? On, on um, Dan's uh, diner we did 9.50. Yeah. What, what boost do you race down the track? 3.1. And it's straight, huh? Yeah, it's a good boost. 
So I was looking at the cement and I said, now we can boost it. Eh? Remember, the top end, the car went down. Okay. So when I hit it fourth, fifth gear, it's starting to just relaxing. There's no big boost for the turbo. Okay. Now, yeah. we can boost it. So we're going 3.5. What size turbo are you running? That's uh, 86 precision. Is this still 1800? 1875. Exactly. And it's built by you or by Wimpit? Wimpit no, know. the uncle himself. I can build nice clean cars. He builds the motors. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Shop, my dad. Dupi's first run was a 7.8 at 278. But he didn't sound too happy with the power dipping halfway down the track. What changes did you do now? Have to boost a little bit and uh, we finding tuning the the mid range between the 100 meters and the 200 meters we dipped but that's out now over and out <laughs> so it's not a dino queen <laughs> no that's good no and the newton meters high hey eh? a lot of talk yeah we've got a lot of talk but a lot we've got more than enough you're not giving fucking anything away, mother. <laughs> I'm not gonna make the same mistakes. <laughs> you would rather can't. not. Well, I ask Joel what you look like without your underwear. You can't do that. I can't ask him that. You can ask me that about him. <laughs> I know you'll tell me. You will tell me as well. We missed you. So we we tested it last Sunday, um, but it, like a private test and. Uh, but when he launched it now, they might cock a little bit, but I adjusted the one uh, traction bar. Yeah, but now with, with his previous accident, it's the first time he's behind the wheel again. He's been, been behind the wheel last uh, Sunday. Okay. But last Sunday we didn't have any issues. Okay. Any issues. But we were alone. So I said, I won't put pressure on you. Let's yes. go alone. Yeah. Test the car. Make the heat. This is also a nice event just to enjoy, yeah, yeah, definitely. To enjoy the definitely. car. You don't have to prove anything today, no, basically. Nothing. No. nothing. We here, look, I, I think we're going to have our best time today. What are you hoping for? 11 eight. With the weather and traction and all that kind of I stuff? I think it's possible. Yeah, I remember it's, it's cold now. Yeah. Track bite is not going to yeah. be Well, uh, I've here. got told to 4 o'clock this afternoon. I've got a spare gearbox, I've got a spare petrol cable, I've got a spare prop shaft. Everything. I've got everything except the spare motor. I've even got a spare <laughs> driver. <laughs> This was Henny Watkins' first hit on a prep track with the new Kamikaze Resurrection, a Toyota Corolla powered by a normally aspirated beams motor. Off the trailer, he smacked a 12 dead. 12.08. So yes, 182. And you balked? And we balked. And he granny shift, second gear. So you reckon definitely 11 coming up? 11 coming up, right now. And is it like a straight? Is it sharp? Yes, sharp, sharp. Very sharp. What change are you going to do to it now? No change, just lift, lift up the rev limiter. The tire pressures? Just keep it safe for first. Is it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Good luck. Shop. The Toyota actually banged out three 11 second runs. The quickest being 11.7 at 182, which now makes him the third quickest NA rear wheel drive in the country. A few years ago, Ian Repsol's meth addict became the first four cylinder to run a seven in South Africa. A year back, he replaced that motor with a six-cylinder 2JZ and is now pushing more than ever to run a low 7. What are you expecting today? Uh, I think realistically, if we can get a, a low 7, I'd be happy with that. You know, we'll see what the track holds. What is the motor pumping out now? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Our, our old setup was uh, about a thousand horsepower at two bar. Now we've got new setup so we can turn the boost up. Uh, we can go up to three or four bar with this motor now, so it's it should be good for 2000, but We'll only turn it up for whatever the track can take. What are you planning on doing next for the car? Laps. Laps and laps. <laughs> and records. This is it. No, the, the, the car's got everything that it needs, so it doesn't need anything else. It just it, it needs track time now, so now it needs uh, you know everything to be fine-tuned and set up and, and it yeah. needs to go fast. What size turbo is it? It's a 91mm. Uh, Promart Precision Gen 1. Have you done any headwork to it? Have you done any... Yeah, so the, so the motor's fully built. It's built for 2,000 horses. This this turbo that's actually on the car at the moment came off the SRT Lexus. And in a 
three and a half thousand pound car, which is about one and a half tons, uh, independent 10 inch tire. He ran uh, seven ones for that very same turbo, and that that equates to about you know just under 2,000 horsepower. That's why we know that the recipe is good. wasn't too happy with the cold blustery conditions and it showed on his first hit as he ran a 7.9 at 2.78. Oh no, everything was fine. Uh, had a nice launch, just a nice shakedown run. Um, the idea was just to uh, go out in the new motor setup, make sure everything's happy on the old boost you, profile. You weren't happy this morning, why? It was cold, and yeah, when it's cold you don't know what the track is like and then you can't throw power at it and then you... That's always the nervous part, right? But as uh, now we know that the, the track can handle a little bit and uh, so what changes have you done now uh we'll rev it a little bit harder and uh turn up the boost i see you're fiddling there on the laptop yeah adding how much lovely, that lovely stuff boost <laughs> adding some time <laughs> and some more stuff all right cool i'll see Let's you now see. thank you unfortunately this was ian's final run for the day melting his head and ending any hopes of beating his personal best of a 7-7 The highlight of the day had to be Butler Motorsports BMW ProMod. It took them four years to build, and their first casual test run by Marius Oersthuizen was a very special moment. What happened? We only did a first run. The <laughs> second one. What, how did it feel? What? What? what yeah, I know. I need to get the car launched harder. It's uh, it's not launching hard enough, so it's not getting on the back wheels. Yeah, it only made 10 psi, about 0.8. So hopefully now I'll get it up to about 20, 25 and then try there. To the lack of straight? Yeah, it's a handful. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still new for me, you know, the left hand drive and all that. What, what changes are you guys doing? Uh, we just, with the steering wheel wasn't nice and straight on the car, we're just holding that up and then uh, just a bolt check. And then yeah, we try again. Oh, wow.